We're joined by USF Don's associate head coach, uh, Chris Gerlifson. Coach, uh, opening remarks on the ball game. It was a heck of an effort, really, by both teams, a back-and-forth war. You guys came up just a little bit short. No, it was an absolute battle. Um, and, I mean, what can you say? Down eight with – Down think, nine. Down nine. 69-60, yeah. A minute 30 left in the game, and, and we figure out a way to get that thing to overtime. Uh, our guys just – they played till the final buzzer and, um, you know, couldn't be more proud to say that I got to coach this group. Um, we did not get the result that we were looking for, um, but I think uh, – I know our players made a lot of people proud with the way that they represented – uh, the University of San Francisco today. Expand on the uh, the pride comment because, as you said, you know, you're down nine. You could kind of fade away and made this a heck of a ball game. This was one of those March Madness kind of games where, you know, you hated to see either team lose really the way it went. No, I mean, you had guys going down with cramps. You had um, – guys fouling out you had guys coming into the game that generally don't play as much as they played um we got deep into their bench they got deep into our bench and um you know what can you say i mean guy like jamari bouye the performance he put on um i don't know i'd, I'd be hard pressed to say if anyone else has a first round uh performance or a performance in a tournament like he had tonight yeah, he really played well. Expand on him a bit. 36 points. Got off to a little bit of a slow start. He was only two for nine at one point. And then, boy, he just came on. He was turning the corner, making layups, hitting fadeaway threes. He was a, a special player to watch here tonight. No, and, and, you know, sometimes in a game like that, when a, when a player like Jamari gets going, it's like, all right, get the ball in his hands and get out of the way. And um, he willed us back. You know, he willed us back with um, just some unbelievable shot. I mean, he, I think he hit a shot from the from the logo here right in front of us and uh, just made big play after big play. And credit to Murray, they made big plays too. Uh, it was like haymakers back and forth. There's and 33 points scored in the overtime period. No, it was unbelievable. And, um, you know, unfortunately, they just got a couple more stops than we did, um, you know, late. And they're a hell of a team, have all – the respect in the world for for Matt McMahon and and what he's done with that program um but I'm also super proud to say that um you know I got to coach this group you know it's only been about 35 minutes since the game ended so it's hard to kind of take that step back and look back at the season as a whole but I'll ask you that anyway if you can kind of just look back because you know when you in a couple three weeks down the line you're going to look back and say wow that was a heck of a season right now it kind of hurts to lose right but you guys had a great year, 24 wins. Look back at the entire campaign. Yeah, I, I mean, I just thought this was a true embodiment of what a team is, you know, from top to bottom, from guys that never sniffed a minute in the game um, to guys who played a lot for us. Um, everybody played their role. Um, everyone accepted what their role was, and that's credit to Todd, you know, and how he assembled this group. Um, it was just a, a pleasure uh, and I told the team in the locker room after the game, you know, I've been coaching longer than all of them have been alive. Uh, I was embarrassed to say that. Um, but this was the most fun I've had as a coach, uh, and it's a credit to the players and to the coaching staff. And um, I think these guys have nothing to hold their head down about. Um, you know, they should walk out of this arena, walk back to the hotel with their chests out and their heads high uh, because they represented our school. Um, in our city the right way and I and and hopefully um, this is just the start now yeah I was going to ask you, you know, that comment leads right into it this is just the start now obviously this is something this program can build on first NCAA tournament bid in 24 years do it as an at-large uh, you got some of the guys coming back next year obviously you can go out and get some more talent and, and, and do it again <laughs> I know it's a long ways off that For next sure. year right no no that's a goal and I think uh, unfortunately, sometimes you have to get a taste of it first. Um, now we have some guys who have been here, just like Murray had two guys, Tevin Brown and Williams. They had played here with John Morant, won a game. Now what do you know? They're here a couple of, couple of years later, uh, and they figure out a way to win. And uh, that's the way the game goes sometimes. Um, and it's hard to take. It's hard to swallow in the moment. Um, but I think we need to really think big picture – big picture and, and see what this can do for our program moving forward. 
Coach, uh, congratulations on a terrific season. It's been a fun ride. You know, from my perspective, I show up and do that first broadcast in early November, and the next thing you know, here we are in March, right? It goes, it goes quickly, and before you know it, you'll be back to hitting the practice floor again in the fall. No doubt. We appreciate everything you do for the program. All right, uh, Coach, again, thanks for the time. It's been a, a great season, and uh, safe travels to all of us heading back thanks, out of here.